Hello guys, welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, as with we were doing last time, France is having a bit of a, a fluster clock at the moment with all these revolts going on. And we're currently at war with the Byzantine Empire. Well, France is, I should say. Um, which is actually going through its own revolt at the moment. So it looks like we could, we could keep that little stack there of 11,000 people heading eastward, then we might be able to make some inroads in uh, helping out this war. And I think what we'll do is we'll just leave France to deal with that revolt, because I don't really want to get involved with it. Although I wouldn't mind so much if France gets split up. Um, I just don't have anywhere near the amount of people to do anything that's uh, significant. So we'll move over to here, I think. I'm kind of hoping as well this might help get some... Uh, sometimes you can pick up traits like improved... Uh, um, martial. As well as uh, other traits as well. Although you can sometimes get bad traits, so we'll have to see. So we're zipping along nicely here. I'm almost wondering whether it'd be worthwhile. Uh, he's 23. See, I got my daughter here. Oh yeah, she's getting married to the King of Jerusalem. I forgot about that. They're attacking tours? Motherfucker! Oh, that's right. I uh, offered Beatrice to hand the buzzard over to Falconeer, but was careless enough to forget to put its hood on. I lost my grip on the Jesses as the bird flew to free him. Oh dear. Oh, she's my courtier. I don't really care. Um, well, if she gets too pissed off, I could always marry her off to somebody. And the other nice thing about this as well is we should be able to siege all of this, and he's got to get through all of this revolt to get to us. Oh, I'm not too worried. 326 people aren't really going to make a dent on things. Over there. And the revolt's probably not going to last that long anyway, because it looks like France is doing a good job of kicking butt. Sure, let's hold a summer fair. Why not? Let's see how my heir is doing. So he's kind and humble. Uh, they're not bad, they're just not great. Even if the church frowns upon jugglers and calls them gleeman, I enjoy the humorous and body acts during the summer fair. Um, yeah, I don't mind losing a bit of piety. Because, I mean, I've got 425, and it's going up slightly. I mean, I'm already losing 0.25 a month, so. It's not horrid. He's 12, he's 8. So, we've got someone who's quick and gluttonous, craven and content. Great. Well, let's hope the quick will help. Who is this guy? Oh, he was part of the revolt, that's why.
peddlers are loading their wares and the merchants are taking down their souls. The jugglers, strolling players, and other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. It's a little bit more prestige. I'll go on a grand hunt. Castle walls have been built. Which is good. I don't really have any uh, money. I'm out in the woods, I see a mighty stag while my party is hunting. I think I've already got I've already got kind, so I'll do what are the odds? Oh, we're actually doing a pretty good job zipping through this. See, I don't really mind going up against the Byzantine Empire or like this because of the fact that they blinded and created one of my guys into a eunuch. Whitehart has been seen north of Bona Bononia. I am told it is a heart of ten and the biggest deer ever seen. Sure. I mean, there's some of those events that you do where it's like a 1% chance that you're going to die or something. Which is never good. So I'm still plus in my balance, and the sighthounds thirsted for blood this gentle afternoon. They brought us many hares. Oh, good. Dinner! Grand hunt is over for now. This is a truly noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial abilities. Cool. So as long as the French Revolt keeps on doing what it's doing, then... Oh, Kingdom of Castile. So who owned it before? She must have uh, separated from France, that is. Who's in this fight? It's HRE, France, and Jerusalem. Well, that's not too bad. Oh shit. Let's hope those people are going. Those 3,500 troops are on the way to fight. What are they going to? They're there. Okay, so it could be that they're starting to make headway into this revolt here. Which I don't mind so much. I just don't want suddenly to have 4,000 troops appear on my doorstep. Or, there we go, so 14 gold. Oh, who's this? Well, that's not too bad. I can keep her in the... What I could do is I could keep her in the prison and, um... Once she hits the age of six, start tutoring her and then... Because she's the heir to the duchy, I might be able to, uh... Um... Marry her to one of my sons, and hopefully if her opinion goes up high enough, you can then get rid of the, uh... Religion issue of making her convert. Man, how come it seems like I'm doing all the work for this? Actually, I'm not. It looks like the HRE is, but... Let's see how this French Revolt is going. Well, they're winning, so it doesn't look like the French Revolt's going to be doing much more, because it looks like they're out of troops. Um... Yeah, they've only got like 1,700 troops. 
so. And considering there's a stack of 6,000 troops there from France, then. Wow, okay, so. Did they just. Oh, it's Sicily. Never mind. I thought it was HRE. Man, look at this. The whole Roman Empire used to, The capital used to be up here in Cologne. Now it's all the way down here in... Well, okay. Another 13 gold. Nice. You're welcome, King Louis the Fat. Who's this guy? You don't really have very good stats, so... Oh, Jerusalem has... Oh, that's interesting. It must have been Sicily or something that had... That became the king. Or got claim on it. Jerusalem, Dutch Jerusalem. Marshal Jocelyn told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Eh, yeah, for eight gold. I don't mind for having improved technology spread. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll increase majesty, because a piety and prestige gain is always nice. And we'll improve the cavalry because it's so close to being finished anyway. No sign of any opposing troops. Oh, it looks like the. Um, this could be slightly problematic because it looks like the uh, revolt is over here. So we could get a stack of. Uh, stack of people attacking us soon. See how France is doing. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say they're going to uh, lose out soon. Yeah, they're doing that. Ooh, shit, that's what I get for not paying attention. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Well, I don't mind so much. We did a, a decent job. I think I only take my 230 troops and head back home. Do that. Yeah, we certainly have been attacked. I don't mind, they can spend their time doing that. I don't think France and that is very interested in helping Jerusalem anymore. Myself. My little son, King Richard, always has his nose in the scriptures and spends all his time among the priests. So it's not too bad, especially for future plans of possibly trying to get some of these Sunni lands. We'll go for that. So I think he was... Yeah, he's one of the revolters, so... That was to be ex expected. And now this revolt's just really screwed, because they now just got all the troops back from here. Oh, look at that. Possessed. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to marry him. Although, it, it always is an interesting mechanic having somebody who's possessed on the throne. Um, because if you do anything that's, that 
you wouldn't normally do with your characters. You can just say, well, look, he's possessed. What'd you expect? I wonder how HRE is doing for the troops available. Yeah, see, that's just scary. They can they can get almost twenty seven thousand troops, whereas I think England is, is close, but yeah, eighteen thousand. Although that might go up because he has pretty shitty marshal at the moment. I wouldn't mind having him. Uh, turn him into a marshal if I can great <laughs> wow Merge on the orders of him. Wow, okay. You naughty bishop. Let's have a look at the um, College of Cardinals. Yeah, he's not even close. I'm not even going to try and dump any cash into that. And England has lost all of their fucking cardinals. What? Heck, even Pisa has one. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez Louise. See, I w probably what I would do is once I get this, is once I become the King of England character, um. I'd probably start looking at upgrading some of the mona monastic stuff, like Canterbury. I mean, like, the monastic school would be handy, especially for the technology spread rate. Plus, then I'd start getting some piety, which means they'll then give me some money if they start to like me. Which is never bad. Although, last time I did this, uh, this sort of save, oh, I better take him home, um, I never switched culture. Okay, so that's finished. Oh, maybe France is now going to fight the, uh, uh, the Byzantine Empire. I did my part. When the Alderman asked for permission for a summer fair, I could never have guessed I would regret that. After a pie powder court held in front of my own bailiff, they sentenced one of my vassals to be drawn in a tumbler across the town square. He's my spy master. I wonder if I have a better spy master. Nope. I got a blind eunuch. He's about just as good. Although I don't know how good of a spy master that would make him. Spam them. It's come to my attention that the Chancellor of Cornwallis, Cardinal Brevley of Cornwallis, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain to try and get enough people to recognize a claim on my title he has fabricated for his liege, Count Hool. Who the fuck is your... My cousin, Brittany. They better not use it. Well, okay. We'll, uh... We'll just fabricate a claim. Okie donkey. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to. How many troops can he 
Deputy King of Brittany. 3,930. Nice, a little bit more prestige. Let's see if I can upgrade anything. Actually, I want to get him to train some troops, and you can collect some taxes. I don't know how long it's going to take to fabricate a claim. So, we're up to 2112. That's not terrible. My son John was bitten by a snake this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. Yes, you can have brave. That's always going to be handy if I'm going to have you as my son's marshal. Or even my marshal. I wouldn't mind having him as a... Oops. What's the uh, marshal ability I have? 21. You are going to be... See, Arbitrary is just frustrating to have because he's not really that good at being a... Uh, a tutor or a mentor. Um, I don't think I have anybody who's a. Do I have anybody who's a brilliant strategist? No. Well, skill tactician wouldn't be terrible because there's always a chance if he fights enough, it'll actually get improved. And he can pick up things like cavalry leader and things like that while fighting. Large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Sure, let them in. Normally this will trigger another event where they'll tell stories or something. There we go. As the evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of your court with the stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to be proved to be a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell me more. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts, Terse command in a foreign language, and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you as new master shall be beyond reproach. So I got a guy came named Mukhtar. Let's pause a sec, see what he's like. Courts, he should be at the bottom. Mukhtar! You're a eunuch, you're a misguided warrior, you're diligent, temperate, and humble. Humble's not bad. Temperate is pretty good. Diligent is very handy. Do I have a son with diligent yet? No. Um... Well, at least he's Catholic. Uh, but his stats aren't that good, is the problem. So I can't really order him to take the vows because he's shit at learning. Unlucky, is what I say. As much as I'd like to use him either as a tutor or something else, he's, uh... When guests arrive, my son Richard is the first to greet them and showers them with questions. Gregarious is very nice for a king. Because improved diplomacy does help. Well, I'm still not sure what to give him. Intrigue of zero is a tad concerning. Um, though I thought Am Amory to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Amory claimed to be constantly subject to affronts from his rival and asked for permission to defend his honor. Uh, sure, why not?
I wonder if I have somebody else who has good... mind. I mean, amazingly, that's the only thing he has. But... Cool. That's not bad. She could be a possibly good tutor at some point. use her for a little bit. But I'll keep an eye on him just to see, because, I mean, in like a couple of years, I got to at least 16, so. As long as you can pick up some of these good traits, like diligence, ambitious, well, hmm. I'm not sure I want him to have ambitious. That could be kind of bad. Actually, I want to. I want to I might piss her off a little bit. I shouldn't have done that, but still. Uh, we have won the siege of Tiluch. We have taken control of the holding from Basilus Manual of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, he must be new. Maybe his dad died. A courier has come forth inviting all knights of the realm to attend a grand tournament, the like of which is only seen once per reign. A chance to prove our worth with our shitty ass 10 martial skill. But, still. Um, is there anything I can improve? Improve keeps. I'll do that. If I can improve my keep. Castle fortifications. Is that all I can do? I guess it's only... Th I guess I only have level 3. Um... See, I'm not really sure if I want to go... Well, I could do keep here. That wouldn't be terrible. I'm starting to think Stephanie might fancy me. Uh, I don't really want to have a... Um, a bastard child, if I can help it. Actually, it's... See, militia training ground, castle fortifications. Okay, I want to see if I can improve this bit, because at least help me get some more troops available. Oversee construction in tours. So 220 days. And hope there's a chance as well that there's a master builder event. Which will be handy. Getting better. I'm worried about his zero intrigue, though. What does he have? Fortune builder. Um, let's see. Educate child. Tournament ends and I, it was a terrible moment. It was just one time only. I shall still hear their laughter. 
So we basically did shit, is what it's saying. So you were really shitty at the tournament. Everybody's laughing at you. You just lost that 50 prestige that you just had. Ha 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 ha. It's like, thanks. See, she would make a really good queen, or a leadership character with the uh, attractive trait. Because you get this added bonus of plus one diplomacy, which is always nice. And then people are attracted to you. So, if you're female, I don't know if it. I don't think it affects male leaders, but it's that mustache I think that does it. So kind, brave, diligent, nice. You got diligent, which is always good. Um, oh, once that's finished doing that, I'm going to pause this. Educate child. I want to see if I can pick up a patient. The, the trick that I actually read about the other day, the higher the, the higher the number is there, the higher chance it is that they'll pick it up. Um, I'm trying to see if there is... Oh, good. She's a mastermind theologian. Great. You know, it's not amazing, but... Um, the plus point is, is that she certainly would help him with the spread of technology with, his, with her learning stat. Because it's basically used in all of your technology advancement as one of the stats. Um, what was I going to do? Uh, he is 15, so okay, she can get married soon. He is 13. Um, I really want to find somebody who has the patient trait. There's a chance that he could... Learn. Let's see how John's doing. Ah, okay. My courtier Yudi's request to join the Knights Hospital in the struggle against the infidel, although will forever although this will forever disinherit him. Uh well you're a bastard child anyway. And your mastermind theologian. Sure. Bye bye. And you're celibate. I mean, I didn't really have much. Um. I didn't really have a place for him anyway. Now I got it because time is sort of zipping along at a pretty steady pace. I'm just going to keep an eye on these guys, because normally I wouldn't um, have my children tutored by somebody else. It's just that I really want them to pick up the, uh, the patient trait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. Uh, next time we're going to keep an eye on the last few years before they become 16 and see if we can sort of make our successor as good as we can. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.